Welcome to How Tuesday. My name is Lisa. Today you're going to learn how to put borders on your quilt. Okay, let's talk putting borders on quilts. The first thing to consider is, is your quilt square? When we're sewing multiple seams and piecing blocks in a quilt, we're not machines, we're humans. So everything isn't perfectly accurate. Adding borders to a quilt is a way to help to square up your quilt. So the first thing you want to do is measure your quilt, um, either the length or the width is personal choice, whichever one you put on first. I usually put my sides on first. So I would measure the length of my quilt at three places. Measure one end, but not right along the edge of your quilt because it may be a little bit stretched out. So move in a couple inches. My end is 36 and a half. Then measure the middle of your quilt. It's also 36 and a half and measure the other end. And this quilt happens to be 36 and a half. It's a small quilt with big blocks. It was easy to keep square. If your three measurements are not exactly the same and on a bigger quilt, they often aren't. You want to take the average of those three measurements. So to get the average, you add them together and divide by three. So as an example, if two of my measurements for this quilt were 36 and a quarter, and one was 36 and a half, I would take the average and I would get 36 and three eighths. And I would cut my two border strips, 36 and three eighths. Once I've cut my border strip, uh, the whole purpose is to make the quilt the same size on both sides. So I've cut my two border strips exactly the same size. And when I make my quilt fit the border strips, I have squared off my quilt. So with a small quilt like this, I would find the middle of my border. The process is the same for a large quilt. And then I would find the two quarter measurements and mark them also with a pin. And then I'm going to do the same with my quilt. Now a quilt with squares is easy to do because I know this is the middle and this is the quarter mark. But if I didn't, I would do exactly what I did with this border strip. I would fold my quilt in half, find the middle, fold this in half, and find that point, the quarter way points. Now I put my border strip right sides together. I pin the middle. Then I pin my two ends. and then pin my two quarter marks. On here, it matches on a seam line. Now, if my border strip was slightly longer than my quilt, I'm trying to grow my quilt a little bit, having pins like this spreads out the extra fabric so that I am not trying to absorb that extra eighth or quarter inch in the last eight inches of my border strip. I want that extra length equally divided along the whole end. I would repeat this for the other side and then stitch my border on. Once it's stitched on, I can press it out and then I simply repeat the process for my other two border sides. Now, 
Sometimes I sew with the border strip on top. That's what we usually do. It's the easiest to do because it's easy to manipulate this. And with this quilt and all my seam allowances going down, I would stitch this on my sewing machine with my border strip on top. But if I had a quilt where I had lots and lots of seams, going down this side and points matching and some seam allowances going up and some going down, I would actually stitch with my quilt on top, my strip underneath, and then I could watch which way my seam allowances go. If I have a big quilt, queen size or king size, the bigger the quilt, the more I pin these borders. Things move around. Big quilts are heavy and bulky and they pull on the sewing machine. So the more you pin, the more accurately your borders will go on. I'm also very careful when I'm stitching my borders on and I come to the end, it's really easy to, because of the pull of the quilt and the borders, to sew a crooked seam right at the end. And then when you add the next border, you have this little dovetail coming off. So I'm always very careful when I'm coming to the end of my border seams to make sure that they're straight. So let's say I'm adding three borders. What do I do? Well, my first border is gonna square up my quilt, but I repeat that process for every border I put on. Usually it's square and that's great, but every once in a while, I need to straighten it up again. How much can you fudge your border? Well, on a little quilt like this, not much more than a quarter inch or three eighths. On a big quilt, up to a half inch over the whole length of the quilt, but if you're out by more than a half inch or three quarters of an inch, you may need to go back and look at your seam allowances on the edge of your quilt. And maybe you need to do some adjusting there to bring it uh, more square before you get started. Hmm, oh yeah, I knew there was something else I wanted to say. So if I'm adding borders all the way around, I repeat that process. If I want to put three or four borders on a quilt, I'll usually end up mitering the corners. That way I can sew all four of my strips together and add them at once and simply miter my corners. But that's a different video. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesday. I hope you learned a little about how to put borders on your quilts.